test, test. Something's happening. Something's happened in here. Test. Okay. Got it. What it is, so is it exactly. This is recording. Hello. Hi, everybody. Welcome to one of these uh, live streams that we haven't done in a while. Um, trying to get back into the regular half of it because we are making... I would say weekly progress at this point. And what we have today is uh, we we did another pour on some colors that we haven't seen. We, you know, we've been trying to master the uh, the blue and the white and some of the more tricky eggs because they required a subsurfacing that we weren't able to accomplish with basic uh, standard manufacturing. We came up with the process. Us. We've been working with the manufacturer, and we are getting very close um, to seeing this through a process. Um, we were working on a color recipe that we were going to need to give them. And this one, we had just poured. You can see it behind me, maybe. You can't. That's just the sink. <laughs> There's a big white block sitting back there um and that was holding the egg that we poured there's a big stick sticking out of there don't mind the stick um but what it was for is to actually just uh keep everything centered inside because this new process um includes subsurfacing for all the eggs and we do feel that this could be just a really interesting and a really unique way to do the whole thing. I know that we were talking like the gray eggs and the green eggs, the common and the uncommon specifically. Um, they don't have any of the subsurfacing, but today we're going to find out just how much we like that because we did an uncommon. Uh, so it's an uncommon egg. And for those of you that are interested in, in or have reserved an uncommon, we'll get a first glimpse of what these, uh, Close to final prototypes are going to look like. And this is actually an egg we're going to be shipping to the testers. So, um, I guess, Mike, do you want to add anything? You want to jump in? Or should we just like go in and take a look at it and uh, and then go from there? Uh, no, you're good. I don't have anything to add. You don't have anything to add? No, I was doing tech. I was looking. Nope. Yep, I'm good. <laughs> Dragon Seer, since you're here with us, do you have anything that you want to add? <laughs> awesome. Well, I have a little bit of leftover. I'll just go ahead and pull this up, and maybe this is just like a buzzkill, but um, this is some of the leftover resin that that I had to just let harden and cure, but uh. I wanted to show this because the cool thing is about these is that you can have a really good idea of like the subsurfacing and kind of like the uh, the interior patterns without really seeing some of the colors that are coming through or some of the other distractions that you'll see. And because it's just a solid object and it doesn't have a lot of curves and that kind of thing, you could just get an idea for the color. Um, now, this is not the entire color at all, but it's definitely... It's definitely on par with with what we've got going, at least on the outer levels. So, so my kids want to claim this hockey hockey pucks. We're making hockey pucks too. All right. Well, it's like it's a birthday cake or something. It's super heavy. This whole thing is super. heavy. Yeah, it really is because this has been a long process, right? I mean, I'm, I'm sure you could attest to that, <laughs> let alone all of us here. Um, well, we're going to go ahead and crack, crack this thing open, and we're going to see what we got. 
Um, we'll start with the, the top. You guys probably haven't seen this, um, but this guy right here has been our, our master mold, which we've been doing all of our resin casting in. This particular resin here is actually a very clear, clean resin, and it takes 48 hours to flip and harden. And uh, you can see that some of these other ones, I'm just distracting right now because that's what I do. I never like just go and show what I'm supposed to show. Um, you can see the eggs over here, but like one of these babies, it's now managed to harden on my window sill because it never actually, <laughs> it's still soft. It didn't quite have enough hardener in it, but it's kind of cool because it has its own platform. I actually like that one. Anyway, enough monkeying around. Let's open this baby up. Okay. Get this open. Okay. Top layer. Oh, rad. How the silicone here? <laughs> Cracking all this stuff. Little dragon chips. Yeah. Filament. All righty. Oh, wow. That is rad. Okay, I hope that the lighting on this doesn't distract. Um, from a lot of the color here, I'll try and get it as close as we can. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of rotate this for a little bit. You can see some of that speckling on the inside of it. You can see a lot of the inner scales, uh, the dark, the darkening in it, and then. How it's got this lighter uh, yellow, even even almost coming white, kind of amber down to these rich greens, and even into a darker, a darker brown, um, kind of an orange, almost at the bottom. But um, what egg? What egg did you order, Dragon Seer? Oh, you got a oh, you got a white and blue one. So you got this other one, which I love. Um, but yeah, so these guys. Um, I don't know any first impressions that you have like, like looking at this. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually, I feel like it's coming across fairly decently right now. Obviously, there's some hot spots up here and, and some other things like that. But um, yeah, this, it's not the right weight. We didn't get this lifted to the right weight, but the way that this thing kind of pull it back a little bit, just so that you can kind of see the overall view. Um, it just feels, I don't know, like I'm just looking at it through the camera and I'm like, yeah, that. That feels like the color and what a dragon would would deliver. I feel pretty good about that. I feel really good about that, actually. What do you think, Mike? Where's your head? Uh, sorry, I was trying to diagnose because I couldn't. I, I can't hear dragons here, um, which is fine. I just wasn't. Do you sure. want me to kind of give you a, a playback of what she said? Um, sure. Uh, basically, uh, through the video, she she was saying it was like a moss aggregate, right? Is that what you what you said? Agate, a moss oh, agate. So like an agate. I I don't know if I'm saying that right. I, I I'm not going to get into a grammar debate <laughs> or a pronunciation debate. A A G A T E. I don't know. If she... Are you? Okay. 
Yes, that's <laughs> okay. that's what she meant. Um, I'm well, going to be the interpreter. I don't know if I'm saying it right either. I just um, That's how I've always said it in my head when I read it. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm distracted by the technique. Like, I'm, I can't figure out why I'm not hearing her. Um, anyway. Okay. Um, no, like, I, I like that. What I like is just how it, it, it's it's got all that detail underneath and yeah we can come back uh, just kind of like especially on this side if you look at this side you can see that scaling let me see if i can get some of that reflection to um, just is that coming through pretty clear like especially the detail of the scales yeah especially what i'm seeing oh, i'm like jumping um especially what i'm seeing is that it's it's got all of this like like from a distance it just kind of looks blended but as you look up close at it like that you begin to see all the detail you begin to see that it is detailed and it's got yeah this, like it's got like, it's got a really rich color palette you know like it's it just doesn't feel like that it's green right right like it's it's kind of got that variation and, and you all know that this is what we've been really striving for is that like something that would exist naturally right and uh and this feels pretty freaking close to that, honestly um do you know what i love about this i don't know anybody else chime in on this because i think you can see it you see how like you have like this straightation of the pattern like uh some of the par particles and some of the other stuff is actually it's not necessarily moving this, this way but it's it's coming over the yeah like this it just reminds me as we talk about the story of the mountain skull about how these eggs take on their property and the way that this thing would have been sitting um and you know kind of taking on those properties probably on its side or something like this where where it would have been you know creating uh, i don't want to say like a almost like a geological sort of a feel to it but which it should because it's a it's a rock eater right so this but yeah no, this is this is awesome. This is so this is a tester egg. This is that color and this will be going out to uh to our testers. And I think that you've seen this one too. But I'll just I'll just go ahead and hold these up in comparison, right? Because this was a successful test. This was the first test of this process um in the blue. And again, you can see see this um, as it goes through this guy um, you have the same thing you have the same level of detail uh, on the subsurfacing in the egg but then you still have this encasement um, rich colors it has a variety this one kind of was a little bit sloppy um, with with the way that it, it rested or it came out of the mold but um, you definitely have a very very defined and and varied color palette in the way that these are coming together. So it's really, really exciting. Right? Like, I mean, this is this has been the headache <laughs> of a lot of us because we knew what we wanted to accomplish and we could create it via, you know, artistic renders and, and other ways, but we didn't have, we didn't have the language, we didn't have the tools, we didn't have the abilities to create it via manufacturing. Um, but we're, but we're there and we're really excited. Like, I'm really excited to get these, get these out to you guys because um we should be getting our well it's, it's almost three weeks right since our manufacturer since i had the update and so we should be you know the, this process is a little tedious to actually make um for the testers 
And the only reason why is because our inner core, we have to do like some literal modification to it, which creates some complication as far as um, like one of the things that I, no one else will know this, but I'll go ahead and share this here because um, I'm, I'm just want to be transparent like that. Want to be transparent like the egg. Uh, but you can see this line in here. And this was actually because we had to do a second pour um, on this same egg, which why we have the leftover resin. The the what happened is is because the three D print wasn't sealed properly. The uh, the resin, which was you know highly viscous and some of the other things, seeped into the egg and it lowered the level of the actual amount. So as the mold was already filled. Um, it had started to absorb that the the resin and it had lowered the level. So you see this parting line that's on it. It was just a slightly different color. And so you can see that variation in it. But um, so this one actually took um, nearly five days to cure. <laughs> so, so as much as it's like, oh, yeah, we're going to kick these things out and it's going to be amazing and, and everything else, that's still a little bit of a tedious process right now. Just because there's still some troubleshooting that's going on but man i'm just holding this thing right here and i'm like looking like look at that color di differentiation from head to toe right like what color did you get um what color did you get on the first tester dragon seer green to gray so if you were to hold this up against that, man, I don't, I don't even think I have one of those here. One of those first ones, because those were just a totally different quality. Like when you look at this right here, I don't know if you've got yours in front of you, but like, are you just like looking side by side? How do you, like, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just saying that because I love how light the color is and the gradient moves and to the dark. That's just, that's just looking pretty rad. <laughs> so i'll just kind of translate because like what she, what she's saying is that like on the first tester egg is that you could run your fingers over it and feel the scales like the texture right it was very very visceral uh visceral and and tangible uh this one as you can see right go ahead and finish and i'll just kind of uh, i'll just kind of jump in and translate but uh go ahead Oh, I love that. So, so what she was saying is that the first, the first egg was, had the appearance of a toy. Um, and this egg, um, as she's looking at it right now, the colors and the way that it's popping and coming through feels like it's alive. So what a testament even to that, right? So I know a lot of you haven't necessarily gone through all the rounds of testing and been able to see that, but, um, uh, that's, that's exactly what we were going for is just a much something that's something that's in the world, right? Something that's natural, something that's in the world. And, and, uh, even through the camera, as we're talking about it right now to say that it's alive, um, I'll take that as a compliment. So, cause that's really what we're going for. One of the things that I will also say about this, um, most of these eggs that will be shipped, you know, we'll have to have a discussion about this because Michael, you know, we were talking about this. What was it? Just yesterday, I believe. Yeah. Um, this one has a very smooth surface. And, and this was the conversation that we had after we shipped the first tester ones that we were doing a sample and we were trying to go for a much more like natural. Um, but the scales were something that 
you guys said that you really wanted to see on the eggs. And that we we ended up putting some texture back into it because that was something that people wanted to see. And we had so like this guy, this white one that you can see behind me. This is one of our second versions of the mold. And when we were talking about this, how we really liked it because it felt like a rock or it felt like a petrified egg and and still the the comments were based on the video uh because we hadn't shipped any of these and we still haven't that these were not as defined as uh you guys would like and but it's interesting because now looking at it between the ones that you've already received and i'll just take your word for it uh right now on the video um from a color standpoint, I don't think there's any question, right? Like this is the egg that you'd much rather have. Is that is that correct, Dragon Seer? <laughs> now, from a scaling perspective, um, which one? Now, both of these are obviously more of that rock, petrified rock or natural egg. And we can talk about that from a physiology standpoint, because one of the things that Michael said, and I'll just share this, is that even though you have the texture inside here and you can see the scaling, you can understand that it's, it's definitely large reptilian or dragon or, you know, that type of thing, but it's still smooth, uh, relatively smooth. He says that biologically that seems more natural. <laughs> like that's something that you would expect to see, right? Because, um, scales are an interesting thing to pass, uh, especially if they're super pronounced. But, but I don't know. You can comment on that if you wanted to. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, that's that's essentially. I mean, you you basically summed it up. But I really like, like looking at it up close. I really like the way that turns out. Just because of, can you still hear me? Okay, am I too far away? Um, no, I can. Even. Just because, yeah, like it it feels way more organic, and far less fantasy but you still have that like magical, magical quality quality it's just underneath this embryonic and one of the shell <laughs> so we're gonna put that when we when we send this like one of the feedbacks that we're gonna look for is is that type of thing because i don't think anybody's expectation is to get an egg if you were to order a dragon egg from dragon federation uh, before and not not seeing any of these lives or, or any of these types of things i think your expectation would be for it to have pretty pronounced scales right like i, I just think that every time somebody gets a dragon egg or has seen one in the world it's it's got scales because it's pretty boring to see just a big egg so i don't know i'm just saying that and you can see here um as i kind of rotated i don't know if you could see it but you could still see on the outside of this like right here where the light's hitting it you can still see that texture it's light it's not heavy but you can still see it so it still exists on the exterior even though on the interior it's a lot more pronounced which which will just be interesting i can't wait to you guys get this in your hand and what you think yeah and i i know on the um on the website and even on like the facebook and everything like the images that you see it's a really like prominent scale uh look that you see so but yeah that's that's true right that's that's another thing to curb expectations but one thing that we are going to do with these because man like the one thing that we do know you can put some light behind this and I don't know if I can do it right here, but I, I can certainly give it a shot. I didn't bring anything. Um, we talked about this a little bit, but candling, right? Cause most eggs you can candle and I don't know if it's even going to come through cause I'm fighting. <laughs> it's like trying to, cut but because hair. <laughs> what's that? Nothing. I just said it was like trying to cut your hair in the mirror. <laughs> But you can see, like, even through the top of this, you're starting to see light come through. And 
And the only reason why I want to say that is because as we photograph these and replace these on the website, because this is what we're going to do and whether it has more scales in the final mold or whether it's, it's more like this. I mean, we're going to obviously take some surveys and, you know, we'll, we'll post this and, and certainly collect some data from you guys, just, just from the visual, obviously in person, it's going to be something very, very different because when you're holding this and you can feel the weight of it and you can see it and it's, it's, like what my, Michael was saying, kind of still that magical quality, even though it looks very natural. Um, some of those expectations kind of go away. And I don't know if that's because, like you said earlier, the first version was a toy. There's nothing that feels like a toy in this. And I'm wondering like that if that scaling all of a sudden makes that. It, it'll be an interesting conversation. I'll just say that. Nothing's hard and fast right now, but, um, but yeah, I mean, definitely from a color perspective. That's pretty awesome angle. Is somebody dragons here talking? No, that's awesome. So if that wasn't picked up by everybody, I'll just share. But uh um what Dragons here is talking about is the double scaling. So in effect, it still has you, you still get the effect of the scaling, no doubt. And even in here that the scaling, because you have like that outer layer and the inner layer, which both have scales on it, which they do. Um, it still looks really, really good. So, so that was just kind of a comment that was made um, just right here through, just through the camera. So, yeah, I'm super encouraged by this. Like, I'm, I'm really excited about this. It looks like Venom joined us, and and uh, Venom, like, what, what, you got a common, right? I mean, that was the one that you pre-ordered. Uh, yeah, so we actually pre-ordered um, two of them. One was the mystery, where it could be any of them. And then the other one was, I think, the standard gray. Okay. Well, I've got a standard gray curing right now uh, as well. And uh, Oh, boy. <laughs> if it turns out anything like this guy, um, I'm going to be really excited. <laughs> Which I, I yeah, don't is know. The forest green? Yeah, so this one technically, um, you can't really see it right now, but this was technically the tricolor, right? So what was what was that one? The uh, the the pine. Yeah, it's a light green, a dark green, and like a brown, or is it the green? And you can see, like, I can't really, man, I can't can't really showcase it right here, but like there are. So this second pour, because it was, um, because the egg wasn't sealed properly, you can see how it starts to get really dark right here. Yeah. Um, this second pour kind of took away from that. It was supposed to be a little bit darker. Um, but uh, when whoever is going to get this egg up close, well, we'll just have you analyze it. But you can see these very, very dark pieces that are all layered throughout there. Oh, you did. And you think if you received this guy, you would be satisfied with that? <laughs> Um, can I interrupt just a quick second? Are you, are you and Dragons here in another chat somewhere else? They're in Fireside, but I know Dragons here is in Fireside, but I'm showing her as muted, every, even when she's talking. Are you like on a personal chat? 
Yeah, and I can hear and everything too. You can? Okay, if I'm the only one, that's totally fine. It's just since I'm recording it, I can't pick her up. So I don't know what's going on. But yeah, you'll just have to repeat. <laughs> More peoples. I know. Well, unfortunately for In the House of Wolves, um, we're about at the end of this guy. But we will we will be able to uh we'll be able to post this because mike's recording it and uh we'll be able to share this so you'll definitely be able to view it but i mean you know i've just been holding it here so that you can get a glimpse of it um just kind of spinning it showing the showing the different colors and the variations in it because i would uh, i mean judging by the reactions on this we're definitely i think getting the uh the right the right reactions Right, like the, the the good responses that were kind of. And what was the uh, the average weight of those uh, with the new the new molds? So this one was a little bit different because it's tricky. So chances are, in the testers, one of the things that we're going to it's a good question. So one one of the things that we're going to tell you not to look at is necessarily the weight. This is much heavier altogether than the one that you guys had already received. So like these so like this one this sucker's 14 pounds this guy is probably closer to six five or six right now and so we're still doing a delicate balance of that because shipping 14 pounds is is ridiculous <laughs> um but we i think we do want it heavier than this one currently is but not by much. Yeah, fourteen pounds is a good a good solid weight. <laughs> yeah. Yep, it'll hurt somebody. Like my kids, my kids come down and grab these things, and I'm just like, "Go put your shoes on." <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna crush your foot. <laughs> they're they're not light. But yeah, we'll we'll get that. Like again, as these are curing. They're taking a little bit longer. I'm just going to reiterate that because of the type of resin we're using. And uh, it, it's just allowing these sort of brilliant subsurfacing so that you can see very clearly all the way through to the uh, to the inner egg, um, which, which just like Michael said, makes a little bit of magic. So it takes longer uh, to cure and manufacture and process. And currently right now we're just working with the one mold, um, but hopefully once our uh, once our manufacturer comes back, because uh, they're doing mold tests right now too, that we should, if we if we're successful in that, we should be able to pour molds at random, um, or at will, not at random, <laughs> at will, and, and and you know, we even talked about letting some of you guys get your hands on some of that stuff to even fab some of these, but that's that's probably another conversation for another day. Um, one of the other things that I want to discuss here, or at least share, is that we are going to be diving into lore, uh, which I know that this is a big deal for you, Dragons here. Um, and there's still some homework that I have yet to get to, but I will. Uh, but the lore and the story stuff. Watch uh, uh, Inheritance, or the um, Aragon. I know we had. Yeah, we talked about that. But Dragon Seer has written some stuff. And and I need to I need to read it <laughs> because we want to go back through exactly what uh, she was putting together and start to really flush out the world. And so one of the things um, we're going to be putting together a survey uh, based on traits and uh, sort of traits and identities of dragons that you guys would like to see in the world um, because we're going to start putting we're going to start putting the dragons together. Um, hopefully, um, and and really flush out the origins. Got some work, but it's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Right. Was... You have any thoughts on that, Mike? You want to share anything? Yeah, I just wasn't sure if Dragon's here was talking, so I didn't want to talk over. Um... She said she was super excited. Awesome. <laughs> Um, yeah, one of the things that we've been talking about, um, is, is just that is, is talking more about story and lore 
um, and and some things that come with that, and uh, and I don't know. I guess um, without going in too much, but but kind of focusing a little bit more on that um, because just to kind of let you guys know as well on the app side of things, the app is is really been an issue in in allowing us to move forward because the app is it is a small piece of a much much larger um scope and and launching an app before we have all of the pieces in place to be able to handle that much larger scope is problematic um just because we don't want to we don't want to launch a product and then have you guys sit on it for ages and 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 it be gimmicky and all that other stuff um so what we're doing there is pretty monumental pretty massive and with everything that's happened we've we've kind of decided you know we'll, we'll probably focus on some other areas first um, until we can collect enough resources to really do that right um and and so yeah, focusing on lore and focusing on on world building and and those kinds of things is is a is a much better place for us to start our is a much better place for us to focus our attention. Um, so that's likely what you'll see a lot more of in addition to to these leaps and bounds with the egg. Well, there you go. Yeah, it's exciting. It's it's really cool. There's there's a lot of stuff that's kind of moving and shaking on it, and it really allows us the opportunity to. Um, I don't want to say pivot. Uh, that's kind of a four letter word. Uh, <laughs> but as much as as much as we say, allow ourselves to like seek out opportunities as they present it. And uh, one of the things that we really found out is. Um, understanding that lore and story is a big opportunity. And so it's not just a big opportunity as much as it's, it's really cool. I mean, I mean, as much as we have dragon eggs and dragons, um, I really do believe that the world building is what makes dragon federation, dragon federation, um, to be honest, um, because you know, I'm a storyteller at heart. I'm just going to make some of these references. But um, Star Wars, if it took place on Tatooine, not really that exciting. <laughs> it's it's really the world. Uh, it's the universe um, that kind of rounds that out. You know, some people may argue with that with me. But, um, but like, for me, it's, you know, it's not just a creature it's not just a thing but it's it's the world um it's multiple it's how they interact with each other it's how they interact with us and um, it's how we interact with each other within that world and about that world and that's what um, i think is really special about this project so so yeah there it is there's there's the green goblin or the green lollipop. Anybody want one of these for a lollipop? If we had Dragon Federation open and, we, and this was like our turkey leg, would you spend fifty dollars on a on a on a on a what a lollipop that was like this or a fifty dollars on a lollipop or fifty dollars on know. a dragon egg? <laughs> dragon egg lollipop, right? <laughs> Because how much is the turkey leg at Disneyland? You're like this isn't is it, this is a, like it's a lollipop covered this, turkey leg. <laughs> it's the, an everlasting gobstopper. Yeah, right. It's it's really romantic to share with your partner. <laughs> it will take you two years to get to the center of this baby. So. No, that's great. Very excited. Um, I really am happy with the way that this turned out. 
And I'm excited to share with you the next one, which is the common. So we've got a gray one coming up here too. So that's the one I'm excited about. That gray is my favorite color. <laughs> it's your favorite mix of colors. <laughs> right. <laughs> No, yeah, it's it's actually. I mean, it's again, like I love the way that these are coming across, and what I've what what we've already got of the uh, the interior on that one. It looks a thousand times better than anything that we've we've done to date. To date. So I'm excited to see it with the subsurfacing on it. It's going to be awesome. Well, cool. cool. Um, I'll give you guys your Friday nights and. Uh, uh, appreciate you stopping by and uh, we'll get this up we'll we'll post this up as well we'll put this on we'll probably put it on facebook or put it on youtube as well so that you can view it and put it on the blog but yeah just just keep moving thanks for supporting us continued effort i love it appreciate you guys yeah thank you thanks for everything guys awesome all right have a good night you too. Take care.